Maybe you are a very good welder and have seen many welding videos about cold welding machines. Cold welding machines are not as common as electric welding machines. But cold welding machines are a type of electric welding machines. Argon is also used and the cold welding machine has good advantages compared with the general electric welding machine. During welding, the appropriate current and pulse time can be selected according to the thickness of the plate and the heating temperature can be precisely controlled. And the arc melts the workpiece in an instant. Therefore, the temperature is not high and it will not cause overheating or deformation of the welded workpiece. Hello everyone, today we look at the interface of the cold welding machine, the left is the quick adjustment channel, the middle is the function key selection, here is the digital display window, the bottom is the fish plug cooling hole, the bottom is the cable connection area, followed by the output of grounding, manual control slash foot pedal, welding mask and arc welding. Today our cold welding machine welds 5 kinds of materials, 0.4mm cold rolled plate, 0.7mm stainless steel checker plate, 1.5mm galvanized plate, 1.3mm aluminum plate and 1mm red copper plate. These materials all use arc welding mode and arc welding torch. Adjust the parameters accordingly, and then weld. First of all, we weld a 0.4mm cold rolled sheet. The pulse current and pulse time are both set to 04. The first point is to fix it. The solder joints are all white and bright, and you can directly touch it. Full welding is to continue along the formed solder joints. Extend down. Each solder joint is pressed against the tail of the previous solder joint, so that the fish scale weld bead is more beautiful and beautiful. This is the effect after full welding. The temperature after welding is low. At about 60 degrees, the white and bright solder joint, when you touch it with your hand, the hole is not deformed. This is a 0.7 mm wire drawing board. We set the current and time to be 0 or 7 according to the thickness. After spotting and fixing, we can perform full welding in the same way as before. Now the demonstration is the spot welding mode, that is, press the switch, and once the arc starts, a welding spot will be formed. As long as we keep each welding spot moving evenly, a relatively uniform fish scale pattern will be welded. The final effect after welding is a silvery white fish scale pattern which avoids the later grinding and polishing and does not damage the wire drawing surface. The solder joints can be directly touched by hand without deformation. These are two 0.7 mm thick pattern plates. Welding the inner corners, our pulse current and pulse time can be adjusted slightly higher. Also, the solder joints are fixed first and the spot welding mode is also used. Press the switch to form a for solder joints, we keep each solder joint pressed against the tail of the previous solder joint, forming a uniform fish scale pattern. Of course, the operation is more skilled, and continuous welding can also be used. After that, we will perform continuous welding. This is the end of the welding. The effect of the overall silver white surface polishing. This is a 1.3 mm aluminum plate. Because copper has a relatively fast thermal conductivity, we set the pulse current and time to be higher, and both are set to 20. We need to pay attention when welding, we press it a little denser, this is the effect after welding, we let's take a close look at the aluminum welding, it is easier to oxidize, there will be this kind of floating ash, we can use this brushed cloth to rub it, and that's it. Next, weld 1.5mm galvanized sheets, there is a gap in them, we can add welding wire to weld. We use 1.2 mm carbon steel welding wire, pulse current and pulse time we adjust to 20, welding galvanized sheet welding, the surface will be if such black ash is left, we can use a brushed cloth to wipe off the floating ash on the surface. In the remaining section, we can also weld without adding welding wire if there is a gap. The solder joint needs to be pressed a little denser, because there is no solder supplement in the middle, and the mutual dissolution welding method is adopted and the current needs to be slightly increased. This kind of mutual fusion welding, the solder joints welded by the form are relatively flat. The first half of the welding wire will be slightly convex. Let's take a look at the final welding effect. The first half is convex and the second half is relatively flat. This is 1 mm red copper, because copper has a relatively fast thermal conductivity, so we jumped the pulse current and pulse time a little higher and adjusted it to 25. 
When welding red copper, the solder joints also need to be pressed a little denser to make the molding effect better. More full. The mutual fusion of base metal is used for the situation where there is basically no gap. If there is a large gap, it is necessary to select the corresponding specification of welding wire to fill according to the material of the base metal. Let's review the model we just welded. This is a 0.4 mm cold rolled plate, the welding is not deformed, and the solder joints are white and bright. This is a 0.7 wire drawing board, the wire drawing surface will not be damaged after welding, and the solder joints are also white and bright, and the overall shape is not deformed. This is the right angle welding of 0.7 mm countertop checker plate. This place is not easy to polish. After welding with a cold welding machine, the hole is silvery white and free of polishing. This is a 1.3 mm aluminum plate, and the molding effect is very good. This is a 1 mm copper plate, welded at the two corners, which is also very firm. This is a 1.5 mm galvanized sheet, with and without wire welding. No splashes at all. This is a continuous welded 0.4 mm iron plate. The cold welding machine has a wide range of applications, all kinds of steel, cast iron, cast steel, aluminum, cast aluminum, etc. Can be repaired, and it can also be used for hard alloy surface strengthening. Welding consumables are bent and repaired for special bends and other parts. The substrate does not heat up, deform, or undercut. The first point is the difference in welding temperature. The temperature of the welding pool is two-thirds lower than that of the TIG welding machine. The welding time of the cold welding machine is precisely controlled, and the temperature of the base metal after high current welding is only tens of degrees, which can be touched by hand. The second is the difference in the amount of deformation. Thin plate welding is not easy to deform. The welding temperature is much lower than that of the argon arc welding machine. The cold welding machine has great advantages over the argon arc welding machine in the welding of thin plates. The welding deformation of the thin plate is very small, and the thinnest manual welding can reach 0.2 mm. Compared with TIG welding machine, cold welding machine is not easy to burn through. The third is the difference in the brightness of the weld bead. The weld bead of the cold welding machine is white and bright, and the weld bead of the welding spot will not turn yellow and black after welding like the tungsten argon arc welding machine. The tedious procedures of post-weld grinding, polishing and waxing are eliminated.